Here's the other thing you can do. You can say, listen, if for some reason I'm wrong and we don't get you the number, then I'm willing to make the adjustment. Okay? You can do that. Again, my goal here is to get the listing. And if I do it the right way, I'm going to get them more money every time. See, people don't look at it that way. They don't look at it as what is what am I actually going to walk away with? All they look at is, well, this other person said four. And that's the biggest problem with real estate right now is you got all these discount brokers. They don't tell the seller that, hey, when you pay four, I'm only giving 2% to the other agent and I'm not doing anything. So you're getting less exposure. You're getting less people. I'm not following up right. I'm not returning phone calls. I'm not creating a bidding war. You know what I mean? They're not explaining the difference. Like when you hire somebody and, and again, this is not a commission uh, struck setting conversation. This is just a conversation about, you know, value. Like, what are you doing? And I get a lot of, we just don't want to sell anymore. I changed my mind. And they're like, oh, they're done. They're off the phone. Well, why worry? I don't want to sell anymore. Like, Okay, I got it. So this is going to be a little bit more challenging, Jen, because you haven't gone through that process with them. You're talking about a, like a phone call, right? Yeah. So, so there's, there's been no that, fact. That's a, I thought, yeah, no, you're right. No fact finding. Sorry about that. No, it's Okay. I mean, it's, it's definitely a different, I mean, so you may have to, you know, on your initial, like your greeting, right. You go back to the greeting. What is your greeting sound like? Um, I always do. Hi, Jen from EXP real estate. Did I catch you at that time? Usually they say no, or they'll say, yeah, and I'll call back. And then I'll say, I noticed your home came off the market a little bit ago. Are you still interested in selling? It's really quick to they're always like, no, I changed my mind. Okay. All the time. So, so Everyone then, their all right. Well, yeah, I mean, listen, that's not right. Why, why are people saying that? Do you think? I just think they want to get off the phone. Yeah, that's it. A hundred percent. They just want to get off the phone. So if we go to, um, let's use this model for that. Although, I mean, we, obviously we didn't get a chance to, to, um, you know, to, 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 to fact find and to, but you know, you did your greeting. So you, you can listen, you can acknowledge, um, isolate, right. So bring it back to that. Okay. So great. So, um, all right. Well, say, sounds like you changed your mind. I, I can certainly appreciate that. Um, beyond changing your mind, is there any other reason you decided not to sell the house? Right. right yeah, Why good. not? See, you know, see, see where it goes beyond Chinese changing your mind. Was there any other reason you decided to take the house off the market? Because here's the reality. The house was on the market. And here's a really another, a really, another really good question. So I, 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 and again, remember we're in always in agreement. Okay. Agree with people. Okay. Absolutely. I, I, I appreciate the fact that you changed your mind. I'm just curious um, if the house sold yesterday, where were you going to go? Right? Because the reality is the only reason they changed their mind is because the house didn't sell. I hope that's helpful. And I mean, that's on a, just a yeah, straight cold is. call, but if you use yeah. this, I would, I would isolate that. And I promise you, I doubt anybody else calling them is going to isolate when they say I changed my mind. Okay. Is that helpful? Yeah, I'm going to try that today. It's good. Thank you. Absolutely. All right. So let's, I want to talk, I want to work through someone else with a situation now where you've gone through um, you're, you know, uh, uh, an objection you're getting when you're ready to close somebody who else give me a hand raise or, or just open your mic. A big one that I get is, well, if I sell my home, where will I live? Mm, that's a big one. Yeah. Now 
I'm going to, I'm going to throw something else into the equation. Now, is that an objection or is that a condition? Hmm. I guess it's a condition. Um, I guess if they could find somewhere to live, they will sell yeah. their home. Yeah. So, so now that is, that is what at the meeting or before the meeting or when, when are you getting this objection? On the phone and uh, at the meeting. Okay, perfect. So if you got it on the phone, then you, you obviously need to know you're going to get it again at the meeting, right? Mm -hmm. So what are you doing to prepare for it at the meeting? Uh, so I just, there's, there's so many options for people who feel like, um, you know, where will I go? I let them know that if they're concerned about where they would live, we can look at um, having an investor purchase a home that'll give them a little bit more time to stay in the house um, while we go out and find a home. Mm -hmm. uh, and that also will help remove the contingency of having a house to sell. Um, I also talked to them about having a potential rent back. Um, that's an option where they could lease back the home if needed. So I let okay. them know, you know, let's go ahead and figure out how to get your house ready. And then you can leave the where would I live to me. Let's just kind of outline what you like. And then let's just see what the market has to offer. Sometimes the, the market doesn't have anything to offer that feels like more than just a lateral move. Yeah, absolutely. So I, I think I think you nailed it. You have to first have a solution, and you have to uh, you know frame preframe where. So here is here here's here's option A, B, C. Um you got to make sure that they're open to, to one of those first off. Mm -hmm. And another thing, you know, I know a lot of, a lot of agents now will try to find them properties. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you could, but I mean, I personally go for the listing, but you know, you could say, oh, great. So if I could find you the perfect property, um, are you then going to be prepared to, um, to, you know, take action? The challenge with that is, um, the odds of you finding them the perfect property are, you know, not that great, to be honest with you. Because then the reality is the property you find them, that person probably needs to find something as well. Right. So that's why, you know, when I, when I talk about avatar, I try to find the most motivated sellers that are selling right now. They don't have these types of, of conditions in place. Yeah. Um, so what, I, the way I would handle it is okay, great. So, other than the fact that you don't have another place to go, is there any other reason that you won't go for you wouldn't go forward right now? Mm -hmm. Any other reason? If the answer, no? if mm, well, I kind of messed up on my credit a little bit. Oh, see, okay. That's so how I've been living here. You know, I haven't kept up with it. I figured, who cares? I have the house. Interesting. Okay, cool. So see how we just went from, uh, I don't have anywhere to go to a, now we have credit problems mm -hmm. by asking questions. So now again, here's what we need to do as, as real estate agents, we need to be problem solvers. Uh, that's what we do. We solve problems and that should be part of your, you know, we go back to the, to the, to the beginning today. Uh, you know, what is, what do you do? Uh, what's one of your value propositions is you solve problems. Mm -hmm. So a problem is, Hey, I want to sell my house, but I can't find anything else. Excellent. We've helped a lot of people with that same situation. Hey, you know what? I'm thinking of selling, but my, my credit's kind of a mess because you know, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Excellent. We've helped other people in that situation. That's what we do. We help solve problems. So there's renting is an option, right? Potential rent. Um, lease back. You, we have to show up with the options. That's, that's going to be the key here. All right. Give me another objection. Who else has one? So yeah. mine was the argument on commission cost, mm. just because like you have like Redfin and then you have like, Oh, so-and-so said that they would, go for this amount. Why should I go with you? Just that kind of argument. Oh, that's awesome. Love that one. Yeah, that's perfect. 
So, I don't that one. <laughs> well, well, you need to start loving it. So then when you get it now, you can, with a smile, confidently say that's perfect. Right. I, I love that. I, as a matter of fact, I love that you brought that up. That's, that's, that's what a lot of people say to me before they understand what I do. Yeah. I feel like that's like, I've, I'm relatively new. I don't go like on a lot of listing appointments, which I'm hoping to change obviously yeah. yet, yet. That's the key word. Cause we're going to manifest that. But I feel like that's one of the biggest. Have questions. you gotten, have you already gotten that? I have, I have. Um, it was more with a friend. It wasn't like um, a new person that I was meeting off the street and they just called me up. So it was a little bit different. Mm -hmm. At least I felt, but I'm not sure how to explain that to someone. <laughs> I don't know in a way that it makes sense. Okay, great. So you guys all have this supplement, supplemental guide. Okay. All right. So let me share my screen with you and I'm going to, I'm just going to work through this with you. All right. So this right here. So the first step is listening. All right. So, okay. So, so let me ask So other than, excuse me, other than the, uh, the commission, is there anything else that's in the way you moving forward right now? Uh, let's, let's just for the sake of this argument say no. Okay. Oh, so you think there is other stuff in the way too? Well, it could, but for this, well, for this you, so, yeah. so this is perfect because you can't move forward unless you know, this is the only objection. Correct. But if you do know that's the only objection, what is the best way about going about that without compromising? Well, no, but you didn't answer my question. So I can't move forward. Well, I said, no, this is the, for this argument, for what our scenario we're going about, the commission's the only objection. Everything so, else. Okay, so it is the only objection, is what you're telling me right now. Correct. Yes. Not for sake of this conversation, but this is the only like this is how clear I want to be with people. Yes. The only okay. objection All is right, so so other than the, the fee being a little more higher than the other people told you, you're you're ready to move forward with us. Yes. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. And can you tell me a little bit more about like, why is that important to you? Because it allows me to have more money for the furniture I'm going to put in the next house. Okay. What I'm okay. Going to be for money left over. Perfect. So more money for furniture. Okay, great. What else? Just my overall profit. Profit. All right. Pro okay. So profit. All right. Anything else? And I'm right. I'm writing this down if it's okay, just because I want to make sure that I'm a, I'm able to you know s serve you the, at the highest level. So anything else besides? So you said furniture. Uh, what else is important about the most profit? <clears throat> uh, just that. Okay. Uh, or do you have a mortgage on the house you're buying, or something? Or do you are you gonna have a mortgage payment or anything? Or uh, no, I'm using the funds to buy in cash. Oh, congratulations. Okay, cool. So it's important to get all the cash you can, right? Okay. I love that. All right. Good. Good. Excellent. So we're on the same page now. Uh, so see on number two here, let me, let me share my screen. So I'm going to be in the acknowledge phase now. So I, I kind of got an idea. It's important to you. You're not giving me a lot of information, right? You're being a little standoffish, which is cool. Okay. That's fine. It just happens, right? Huh? I said, I've never been called that in my life. I love this. No, but this is, this is right. The answers you're giving me are not like, they're, they're, you're holding back a little bit, right? Yeah. I mean, yeah. So this is what you want to do when you're talking, to, which is fine. There's no problem here. This is super cool. This is completely normal. You know, you're absolutely right. I agree with you. It's the most important thing we need to is selling your house. We want to get you every single penny. I am on your side. Okay. I get it. I get what you're saying. 100%. All right. So let me, let me go back. So, okay, great. So other than making sure we walk away with every single penny, the most profit, uh, you know, you, you need to buy that down house. You mentioned, um, uh, furniture, anything else that will prevent you from moving forward right now. Uh, just, just the commission terms. <laughs> okay, perfect. So now I'm going to jump to number four. So the, so that we're going to validate this. 
All right. So here's how, here's how we switch gears now. This is, this is like the magic part. All right, ready? So now, so what I'm hearing from you, it's not necessarily the commission you pay, but it's what you put in your pocket at the end of the day, right? Like the check they hand you at the closing table. Correct. Okay, perfect. So let me, let me show you this because here's what we're doing right now with our listings. When we do it the right way, we're actually getting our clients at about 105 to 110% of list to sale price. Now we're doing that. Most of the other agents in this area are not doing that. Meaning that when you list with me, not only are you getting everything, but you're going to walk away with, and I want you to have a number now. So what's the price of the property you were looking at? Uh, the one that I'm going to buy in cash. No, no, no. The one you're going to sell. What, what's the price? Let's say 350. Okay. So 350. Excellent. So what's 5% on 350. It's about, I don't know, 19 grand or something. Eight, 19 grand. We'll say 20. We'll say, uh, uh, yeah, 17, five, right? Yes. Okay. Perfect. So what you got to do is you got to take it off the commission and you got to put it on the walk away net. So what I would do in this case is I would have a net sheet and I would say, okay, great. This is perfect because I want to make sure you walk away with every single penny. So the way we structure our deals is at the end of the day, you, and how much did the other agent tell you, by the way? Uh, four apples. Four. Okay, great. So four apples. So based on your 350 house, they're charging you four apples. That means after everything, uh, 350 times four is, and I'm going to have my calculator. How much is that now? 350 times four is what? 12, uh, 14,000, right? Okay. So 350 times 4%, 14,000. That means you walk away with 336. Okay. 330. Is that a pretty good number, right? 336. You'll be happy with that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'd be happy with that. Okay, great. Now let's look at it the way we do it now. So 350. Okay. And we're actually getting our, our so we charge again, uh, our, our percentage is six. But what we're going to do is we're going to do 350. Okay. Times. We're going to add the additional 5%, which is 17.5. So do you have a calculator? Yes. Okay, great. So calculate what is 6% of three of uh, 367.5? 22,050. Okay, great. So what's the net now? So 22.50. So 367.5 minus 22.50 is how much? 345.450. Look at that. All we have to do is do what we're doing with every single seller and only get you 5% above listing price based on our negotiations. And you walk away with an extra $9,000. Now, here's the thing we're actually seeing some of our listings at 10% above listing price, which would put an extra 20 grand in your pocket above that. So let me ask you this. If I could do only half of what I'm saying I could do right now, would that be worth it to you? Yes. Great. Are you ready? Are you, have you heard enough information to make a decision? Uh, yeah, I think I have. All right. Did you say, say yes? <laughs> Did someone else say yes? Yeah, because I wanted to see what you were going to say. <laughs> she just hesitates on everything she says sometimes. I just, I second guess myself all the time. No, well, listen, I mean, no, that's, that's a real conversation, but you need to know your numbers. Okay. Otherwise, what you're going to get stuck doing is saying, okay, I'll just match the 4%. But if your brokerage is selling properties for more money, right? Or you have the hassle-free program. You know, this is why the options work. It's very difficult. 
Because if you keep it, this is why I did this. And, and you don't even have to go as extreme as I did, but you got to get it off the commission because you can't win the commission conversation because they're like, well, this guy said four, you're saying five or six or whatever it is. That's higher. Great. Let's not worry about the percentage. Let's worry about what you walk away with because it's ultimately the most important thing. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense. I, I do have a question. So do you break down the numbers in front of the client or do you like have a sheet where I bring it? Have- yes. Great question. I bring a net sheet. Okay, but is the net sheet something you're filling out in person? Or no, no, no. It's usually already done. And you'll just point to it and be like, this exactly. Is yep. So, I'll, and so Do you I'll. Have examples of that you could share with the class. Well, not right now, but yeah, I'm sure if, if Matt doesn't have one, then we can, there's, you can do one on the MLS, by the way. Okay. When you do a market analysis, you go in there, does that, the last page is a net sheet. When you do a, 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 a an, an MLS uh, comparative market analysis, there's a net sheet on the, on the last page. So what I do is I look at my 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 previous uh, five sales, and I take the percentage, and that's the percentage I use. And then I look at the MLS. I mean, we could do another training on this if Matt wants us to at some point. And then I look at the general MLS, and now I have a comparison. So I could say, hey. The MLS right now, properties are selling at 98% of list to sale price. My last five sales, I was 107% of list to sale price. That's really right? that's helpful. That, I like and, that. and here's the other thing you can do. You can say, listen, if for some reason I'm wrong and we don't get you the number, then I'm willing to make the adjustment. Okay? You can do that. Again, my goal here is to get the listing. And if I do it the right way, I'm going to get them more money every time. See, people don't look at it that way. They don't look at it as what is what am I actually going to walk away with? All they look at is, well, this other person said four. And that's the biggest problem with real estate right now is you got all these discount brokers. They don't tell the seller that, hey, when you pay four, I'm only giving 2% to the other agent and I'm not doing anything. So you're getting less exposure. You're getting less people. I'm not following up right. I'm not returning phone calls. I'm not creating a bidding war. You know what I mean? They're not explaining the difference. Like when you hire somebody and, and again, this is not a commission uh, struck setting conversation. This is just a conversation about, you know, value. Like, what are you doing for the commission? Yeah. It's like, like any other service, like if you're paying, X amount for a service like landscaping and you have Jimmy and his friends doing it versus an actual company that's going to do things, the extra quality and the extra mile. 100%. But the challenge you're going to have in real estate is, (laughs) and that's why if we go back to everything we've talked about today, when you come to this point, if your greeting was on point, if your fact finding was on point, right? If your demo was on point, now it comes time for the close. They're already like, wow, this is a different level than everybody else I've spoken with. So when this conversation comes up, they're just like, yeah, okay, I get it. I get it. Let's go. Let's get this done. That's that's what you need to create. You know what? It's funny. It's like this makes like so much sense. Like I've always looked at it at like something that's really daunting, but the way you're explaining it, and again, I'm newer, so you guys can laugh, <clears throat> you guys can laugh at me, but it's like, it makes so much sense. Cause it's like, we're making that first impression. We're making them feel comfortable. We're explaining what we want to do and showing them how we can help them and giving us, giving them their reasoning at the end. That makes so much sense. <laughs> yeah. So again, think about what I said earlier today. My my goal today is three things. Give you the best information I can, answer your questions, and then list your home at a price that's going to cause it to sell. All right? That's it. If And, and listen, to, hey, I may not even take your listing. I tell them that. So and what, do you, what do you mean by that? Like you, you might reject their listing? Absolutely. Uh, Because what what if they ask me to do some stuff that's not going to, you know, that's not going to help it. Or they ask me to put it on at a price that I know it's never going to sell. I'm not going to waste my time. 
this right see that that's the takeaway you go back to my story i walked in the first thing the person said to me was hey i just want to let you know i'm not signing any paperwork today perfect that's great that's awesome fantastic because only one of three things are going to happen today number one is you'll sign and that'll be great Two, you won't sign and it may not be so great. And three, I may choose not to take your listing. Is that fair? He looked at his wife, was like, damn, all right, yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Now we're on the same page. Let's, let's, let's have a, a meeting together and let's see if we can help each other. Let's see if I can help you and, and we can work together, right? That's the reality. There's no, there's no attachment to anything. It has to make sense. No, I, I, I like that. That makes a lot of sense. Absolutely. So I hope that was helpful for you and for everybody. I did record this section, actually, and I'll share it with everybody, by the way, if you guys want to work through that, that again. All right. Let's do one. I want to work through a stall with somebody. Okay. Um, so let's, so who wants to, who wants to do a little stall action? Um, somebody who has, so, uh, Dawn, are you there or Angie? I'm here. Okay. Awesome. Do you want to work through a stall with me? So you'll be the seller or that's saying, you know, we've gone through everything, but you're still say, well, I, I just need some time to think about it. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. All right. Awesome. Okay, great. So so my, my close is, is going to be, okay, have you, have you heard enough information to make a decision? Well, um, I mean, yeah, you gave me a lot of great information. I think uh, just give me some time. Let me review everything and I'll get back to you. Okay, perfect. So, okay, great. So you, so you want some time to review everything? Yeah. All right. Excellent. Uh, that, that is no issues whatsoever. So you see how I'm agreeing, like an agreement. Perfect. This is an important decision. You, you would, pe most people would want some time. Um, can, can I ask you a, a direct question? Yeah, sure. All right. What, what are you uncertain about? Um, I mean, I just want to make sure I'm making the right decision with the agent that I'm going with. Okay. All right. And how will you know if you are making the right decision? Um, just a comparison, you know, looking at the numbers that everyone gave me and the different marketing of everyone. Okay. Uh, awesome. And now ha have you already meeting with all the other agents? I have. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. So listen, I'm, I'm really committed to helping you here. So here, here's what's going to happen. Um, so, well, by the way, as far as, as I go, do you feel really confident in, in, um, in me getting this done for you? I do. I mean, you seem to have a great marketing technique and I, I do like the, um, the 28 day guarantee. Uh, my hesitation is just, what if I don't like you after 28 days and then I have to relist with someone else? but my house looks less appealing to people because it's been relisted. Okay. Got it. All right. So it sounds like you're even concerned about the 28 days. Um, more so having to relist it after 28 days. Okay. So, so the price works for you, the price we talked about, the commission structure, all that works for you. If we brought you an offer tomorrow, 465, you're going to be excited with that? Yeah, I would. The num the that works out. Yeah. Okay, great. And you the company, every you know, my company, you're 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 um you're confident in my company and our national exposure and everything we're doing on that level to get this done? I am, yeah. Okay, great. So so perfect. So the only thing left over then is the fact that you're really maybe not a hundred percent confident that I'm going to be able to get this house sold in the next 28 days. Is that what I'm hearing? Um, I mean, I'm not saying I don't trust you, but um, I don't know. 
Okay. So w- when you say you don't know, what, what do you, what do you mean by that? Like, what are you uncertain of? Just, I, I really don't want to make a rash decision as to who I'm going with and without looking at what everyone's presented to me again for a second time, because I may notice something when I'm alone versus while you're sitting here with me. Okay. And is, is that how you've always made decisions? Yeah. I don't make decisions on the fly. Got it. Okay, cool. And, and have, has there ever been a time when you, when you made a decision on the fly and it, and it came back to, uh, to haunt you? Um, not that I can think of right now, but it, it's normally because I don't do that. Okay. All right. Fair enough. And, <laughs> and is that is something that you created or did you get that? Did you kind of inherit that from somebody? Um, I don't know. Okay. Fair, fair enough. Well, let me ask you this. I mean, how do you feel about like, because here's the reality. You, the only thing you're, you're doing is you're going to go back and you're going to have to spend more time and energy thinking through all this stuff. Mm-hmm. Right. So I'm here right now. I'm ready to get started. We've got our photographer waiting by the phone, ready to get over here. He can be over here tomorrow morning if that works for you. Okay, so the only thing we're doing is really, really prolonging it. So how do you feel about me getting this done for you and giving you? I mean, what if instead of 28 days, what if we move that down to, say, a a 10-day guarantee for you? Saying if we don't have it done in 10 days, you can can walk away. That's how confident we are. Would that make you feel more confident about this? It would, because if I had to put my house back on the market with someone else in 10 days, then it wouldn't seem so off-putting to buyers. Awesome. Well, I'll tell you what, the last thing that's going to happen is you're going to have to put your house back on the market in 10 days. So are we ready to get started right now? Let's get our photographer in the morning, in here in the morning. You don't have to spend any more time thinking about this and thinking about that. We'll have you an offer this weekend. How does that sound? Hey, if you can get me an offer this weekend, that's even better. Awesome. Sign right here. Sign. (laughs) (laughs) what did you think of that very persistent but not in a standoffish way where it's like combative so yeah because i'm smiling i'm i'm kind of joking around a little bit right i'm helping somebody make a decision this uncertainty Anybody else listening? You guys have some feedback on that? Is there anybody else listening? I'm listening. Um, I think that you did a really good job at just kind of uncovering exactly what her, you know, I won't say problem, but her um, apprehension was. And ultimately it was that she didn't want to feel like she was making a rush decision and that, um, she didn't want to feel like she just kind of chose the first person just in case something went wrong. So you address that, talk to her about your value proposition. 28 days still felt a little too extended for her. So you offered her another alternative. And I know in this market, and also you may have a Rolodex of buyers who might be interested or some lenders who might have people that are pre-qualified in her price point anyway. So you felt confident, I'm assuming based on the condition of the home, location, and several other factors that um, you wouldn't be kind of eating your words later on with egg on your face. Listen, here's, here's the thing, Monique. Um, I can give somebody a seven day guarantee because my contract is still a six month contract. It just has a clause that says after seven days, they can terminate it. So mm-hmm. at day number eight, if the house hasn't sold, but I have done a phenomenal job of staying in touch with them and they still like me, they are not going to cancel the contract. Right. So when you really start to understand this guarantee, you understand how you use it as a tool. Most people don't understand the guarantee. We're not signing a seven day listing agreement with somebody where it expires in seven days. We're not signing a 28 day listing agreement. Mm -hmm. So that's, that's the, that's the benefit here. So I can do that. 
And if, you know, if at the end of seven days, they haven't heard from me, you know what I mean? I didn't return their calls. Then of course yeah. they're going to turn if the house isn't under contract. But if I'm talking to them every single day and I'm bringing them and I'm giving them feedback and I'm showing them and I've had great open houses and right after the open house, I called and gave them, you know what I mean? They're going to be like, this guy's on point. Yeah. That's the difference right there. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, so if they see the effort, I mean, the likelihood of them feeling like, well, maybe he's not the good, you know, the best fit is less if they see the effort. Yeah, you have to exceed expectations. I did a workshop yesterday, right? I don't know if you were with us yesterday. Ace. Ace no. Mm -hmm. Ace is avatar, compelling offer, exceed expectations. That's the class I teach. You create, you have the right avatar. You have a compelling offer, which is the 28 day guarantee or the seven day guarantee, whatever it is. And then exceed expectations with what you're doing.